keep it real. <laughs> You know, I told my, my care folk, JT, <laughs> let me get on here and keep it real with y'all for a moment. He told me to go ahead and pop this video. You know, a lot of people say we look alike. But, uh, title of my video, you can have a look, but do you live by the book? Mm -hmm. See, I know I don't look like I go to church. I don't have on suits. You know, most people look at me, they think I'm crazy or something, you know. And some of us need to get our faces off of Facebook and start getting into the book. Hmm. Now, the book I'm talking about is the Word of God. Now, I know more people won't listen at me because the way I look, you know, you know, the way I sound, you know, but I'm not cussing or doing none of that. This hurt, it is just a little, you know, little black and mild or whatever, you know, it just calm me down a little bit. But, the problem we see nowadays with a lot of folk, sisters and brothers, is that they want to have a look, but they don't live by the book. See, ain't no preaching or nothing like that, but just just got a little real talk right here. Let me dump my ashes, dump my ashes out right there. You know what I'm saying? Because what I see going on when I do go to church, I see the look. But I don't see no spirit. No spirit at all. I see a lot of people, they have the clothes, the nice clothes, the shoes, you know, preachers got gators and all this, driving up in benzes and all kind of, you know, fancy cars and everything. They can pray. I see people that can shout. I see them dancing all over the floor, speaking in tongues. But after all of that, they don't have nothing behind it. They got to look. But they don't know the book. How can you live by the book if you don't know the book? What good is having a look if you don't know the book? When you don't know the scriptures, when you don't know what's fake, you don't even know what's true, how can you tell others? You know, people are always talking about make sure you bring somebody to church. We having a revival tonight. Well, let me let me let me see, let me let me let me let you in on something for a minute. <laughs> A revival is not for unbelievers. How in the world can an unbeliever be revived when they don't even have the spirit in the first place? The revival is for the believers. See, I'm talking about what I know. Most church folk don't understand it because we always talking about bringing somebody into the building so they can be revived. You can't revive somebody that ain't never been vibed up. Read means to read, to do over again. Y'all see what I'm saying? There's so many flaws in a lot of church buildings right now. That's why I go when I go, and I stay home when I stay home. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, though. I don't worry about what people say or think about me because I have a close relationship with God. And that's all that matters to me, you know what I'm saying? My young brothers and my young sisters around the world, you know. I'm just having a little real talk video right here, you know. I know a lot of people going to put me in hell because I got this look. You know, this little cigar or whatever, but you know, a lot of people just gonna put you in the air for anything. I haven't even had a lot of people come up and talk to me about salvation. They talk about, you know, everything else but salvation. <clears throat> I was talking to my other cousin, uh, what's his name? I have to forget. You know, it's a sad thing when you can't never think of people's real name because you're calling their nickname all their life. My, my little cousin, Tyrone. Y'all met Tyrone on there with the mechanic outfit on. That's why Tyrone don't, don't really go to church no more. And Tyrone is still having a hard time. And we get together and, and try to encourage each other and other folk. You know, just because we don't go to church all the time. We we always tell them to continue to go. You know, you understand what I'm saying now. Y'all y'all feel what I'm saying now. You know. But you can have the look. But do you live by the book? Do you live by some so you know what so many people have found so many ways how to look holy to look good on the outside but when it comes to loving let's see loving helping uh forgiving speaking the truth a lot of people don't do it 
So many people claim to love the Lord whom faith they ain't never seen, but don't even love their own brother. Now that's real. That's real as it can get. People get up and go to church every Sunday morning faithfully. They go to prayer night service, mission meetings, Bible study, Sunday school, all these things. But still can't live by the word. They got to look, but they can't live by the book. This is my little sermon for the night, you know what I'm saying? You got so many people living to be people pleasers. They care more about what mankind thinks than what God thinks. They care more about the building, but not about the body. Because if they cared more about the body of Christ, they wouldn't be hurting the body like they hurt the body. Christ ain't coming back looking for no building. You see what I'm saying? I was talking about helping the poor. A lot of people sit up in church, you know, complaining, talking about ain't nobody helping the poor. And then you got preachers in there begging the poor. But I heard so many people crying and complaining about not helping the poor, but yet and still they won't get up off their tail and go do nothing. Y'all understand what I'm saying here. Just complaining. Just complaining and that's it. You can have the look. But you don't live by the book. Let, let's get all the way real. A lot of people go to church just to hear music, hear the choir sing, hear the preacher hoop and holler. It's all about entertaining now. You know what I'm saying? Entertaining churches. I see that all the time. We got so many choir members singing, but a lot of them can't believe in what they're singing. We got a lot of deacons praying, but a lot of them year for year after year, they never believe in their own prayers, and they never change. Some of them are still getting drunk and running women, but they're looking down on the ones on the outside. But not all deacons are like this, you know what I'm saying? See, so many pastors now who want to just look good, dress good, give you a feel-good message. You can have the look, but do you know what's in the book? I even think about some of these first ladies that I know. Mm terrible. They know their husband wasn't called to be no pastor, but yet and still they sitting right there cheering on mess every Sunday, trying to make it work. How many first ladies out here we know right now know their husband is destroying the church? Know that man is destroying the church. Now we also have some awesome pastors out here, let's be real, thank God for them, but how many people know of a pastor that's jacking up the church right now? And I'm talking about R-A-T, right now, right now. And then we got all this confusion going on. Mm. And let, let me get a little bit more real, because now if you a third lady, then you can't have another lady. You are a woman. You shouldn't be married to a woman. I'm talk, so I'm not talking about y'all because, oh yes, we got women pastors out here who are married to other women. We got gay churches now. We got ministers married, man ministers married to another male. Oh, it's all twisted up. I got a, I got a gay church right down the street from me. Sure do. It's over here. Is it over there where you at? Is it happening where you at? We got it over here right now. I can take you right to it. So many people care more about how they look instead of the book. That's why a lot of people look at church like a club now. See, I know a little something about the club because I'm in there every night. And I don't care what people say about me. I go to have a good time. Some of y'all going to church just to have a good time. I know a whole lot about the club. Mm. I look at church like a club now, but not everybody church, but let's just be real for a moment. I get in the mirror, I get dressed up, get my fro tight and everything, trying to look right because I'm going to dress to impress. Might catch me a little, might catch me a little, little woman up in there, you know what I'm saying? You never know. I'm keeping it real. So I get in the mirror, I dress up, look at how long women stay in the mirror now. Same ones getting up on Saturdays and hitting the club, the same one getting in the church on Sunday morning. Let the church say amen if you want to. Let the church say amen if you want to. 
That's why I say people, a lot of people I know, including myself, look at the church like a glove now. Yeah. You get ready with your friends. You call up such and such on the phone. Hey, who driving tonight? I got the money. I'll get you in. Let's go gas up. We get together. We get on one accord to hit the club. Well, same thing in the church. A lot of people ride with each other to church. You know what I'm saying? Getting with their clicks. Look at how many clicks in the church now. You get certain people you hang around. Some of us men, we just got out the club trying to get all the young women we could get. And some of the older women. You got some men going to church right now trying to get all the women they can get. They don't care nothing about the word of God. They looking at they looking at old girl up there about three rows back from the pulpit with a skirt. Cleavage showing and everything. Oh, waiting on offering time to see that big butt walk around. Y'all tell me it ain't true. I was talking to my buddy that played the keys. He, you know, we got musicians who got hot last night on Saturday night. Still going to church high on Sunday morning. See, you might can fool me, but you ain't gonna fool God. You can have that look, but can you live by the book? Look at these, look at these musicians now that's treating church like a gig. Well, you pay to get in the club too, don't you? Well, look like nowadays you pay to get off in a lot of these churches. You got to pay to get in the church now. And some of these churches, these preachers, I don't know why they're holding service so long trying to beg folk for money. It's cheaper for me to go to the club than to go to church. I don't know if I'm going for salvation to go on and see Jesus being bended on. Y'all feel what I'm saying? I know some of y'all may have let the truth hurt. And if the shoe fit, just go ahead and wire it, my brothers and sisters. You got to pay to get in some of these churches. These preachers done lost their mind. They done turned the church service into a banding contest. I said a while back, I don't know if I was at a church the other day because they start being on Jesus so hard. I gotta get 45, 55, 65, 65, 65, 75, 75, 75, 75, 10,000. Can we get up? We done sold Jesus over here. I didn't know he got on the cross for us to make a slot machine out of him. I'm just being real. Banding contest. It's cheaper for me to go to the club than to go to the church. And I'm going to be a little bit more real, brother. It's sometimes easier for me to go to, the, to, to go to the club and have less drama and less drama at the club than in the church. I ain't never known there were going to be so many fights in the church. So many people going to church just to have a good time and be entertained. Sounds just like the club to me. Look at most of the music ministry. I'm finna close after this, but come on. Let me really look at most of the music ministry now. You got more performing than praising. Mm -hmm. More performing than praising. Sound like the club. People perform at the club. They shout, dance, run around. Let your favorite song come on. Y'all know how we do it. Let my song come on right now in the club. I'm gonna get up and do it like this here. And I'ma do it just like this here. Uh-huh. And I'ma do it just like this. Y'all know the club, damn man. Keep it real with your boy. Keep it 100, like the young folks think. Keep it 100. Got folk in the church doing the same thing. Done forgot about the lyric of the song. And up there dancing like they done lost their mind. Ain't no anointing. If I want to be entertained, I can stay at home to be entertained. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I just want to shout out for me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Just take this little advice, what I'm telling you, youngsters. And, and folk that are older than me, y'all know how it go. Y'all know how it go. You can look good on the outside. Be very beautiful. But how are you on the inside? My granny used to tell me, man, you can look like you all right, but on the inside, you just tore up from the floor, and you're really crying out for help. God bless you. God keep you. Next time I see y'all, Lord, stay the same, man. I'll come back. We'll do something a little different. But right now, I'm about to go get into my Bible, whether you believe it or not, because I want to study some more.
And I ain't even gonna think about going to church to get the word. I'm gonna let the Lord lead me to the word tonight. Peace, y'all take care. On the next time. I let your boy. It's all good. Peace.